Hello friends, I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. I'd like to welcome you to my crafty space. I hope you guys are having fun with your crafting um, and doing something, you know, that you want to do. So today what I'm going to do is share with you this, it's a freebie bundle kit for Halloween. Every time somebody says trick or treat to me, I say, well, treat, of course, right? I mean, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> this is my little treat journal that I made for my, well, I made one of them. I've got another one to make, and I'm going to show you how I did it, uh, for my grandchildren. It says, Happy Halloween. This is all in the, um, the freebie bundle pack. Little brooms on the background paper. And I made this, I printed this bag out of, uh, vellum, crunchy, crunchy. And, um, I printed this onto vellum. Uh, a lightweight vellum and then made my paper bag. I'll show you how to do that. If you don't already know, you probably already know. So my little treat journal goes like this. Okay, full disclosure or non-disclosure or whatever disclosure, I'm not a poet. Okay, so <laughs> if you think I am, no. And uh, you don't have to use my poem. <laughs> it's just something I did for my grandchildren. I thought I'd just throw it in for if you want to use it or part of it or whatever you want to do. Okay, so my pumpkins are my pockets, okay? And my little um, critters, my little things are like paper dolls. They're backed onto um, file folder. Oh, let me show you the bundle first and then you'll know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so this is the, the spooky-ish house. And it's got a little bat up there, and the poem will explain that. Then this is the front element that I put on the front of the bag. You can use it any which way you want, of course. I just did it this way, okay? So this is my background paper, which I use throughout the, the little treat journal. And this is what I printed the vellum on as well, okay? So there's that. I thought that was cool. Um, and then I've got... These are mirrored. Um... So that you put them together, back them on themselves, and it makes a really cool big pocket at the back. That's one pumpkin, and then that's uh, six more. So you've got seven of the pumpkin pockets. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and then here's all my little critters that go with the poem. And the poem will explain all this, sort of. Like I said, I'm not a poet, but hey-ho. <laughs> uh, when you have grandchildren and they live far away, you do things, right? So the poem, the poem is split up into sections that will fit on the journal. If you do it the way I did it, you don't have to do that. You can cut these apart because they're just words and lines, right? Okay, the poem says, I'm sorry, but the poem says, A Halloween poem just for you. What are you going to be for Halloween? Maybe a dinosaur with your own unique roar. What about a mermaid who lives in a friendly glade? Or maybe a puppy is what you'll be or a squirrel up a tree what about a unicorn or a dragon with your tails a wagon again i'm sorry i'm going to be a bat this halloween day so i can hear all the things you say because even though we live far away i want you to know i love you every day <laughs> so that's my poem it's in the bundle it'll be on my website if you want to use it you don't have to Okay, so I put the first part of the poem there where it talks about um, a dinosaur and a mermaid, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, like I said, they're like little paper dolls is what I think of them as. Um, and I put them in the little pockets. Super cute. And these are going to have candy in them. They, I haven't put them in yet, but I'm waiting, you know. You have to wait for deliveries. So, this is the, the puppy... Or maybe a puppy up a tree or a squirrel up a tree. Anyways, that's that's that one with its pockets. I printed mine out on um, um, a printable vinyl that's clear so that you just get the sticker with the words on it. You can print it out on tea stain paper or whatever you want to print it on, vellum even. I mean, whatever you want to put it on. I use that sticker paper, so there you go. There's my unicorn. That's actually the same unicorn that's in the wildflower, fairy wildflower uh, kit. 
and there's the little dragon um yeah they're super cute super cute i know it's got a little fussy cutting and all that stuff and here's the grandma bat <laughs> i go in a pocket too okay and then there's the uh spooky house which is also a pocket for you to stick candy in pockets all over through there to stick the candy and this big pocket i put on the back so i can stick some more candy in there hey Halloween, it's all about the treats and the candy for me. It is. I don't I don't get into the spooky stuff. So this is what I I got all my stuff cut out and I thought I'd show you how I put this together, right? These are all my things. Okay, yeah, I cheat. I have a cricket and it cuts out all these wonderful things for me. <sighs> That's <laughs> it's you know, it is what it is. So once again, I'm living on the wild side. I haven't tested my glue. There you go. Hopefully it'll work. Um, so I'm going to, of course, double stick tape on the back of this and my glue, which I hope works. So, yeah. Um, we always hope for the best, right? <laughs> okay. Um, just... A simple show you how to put the mat on. I know everybody knows how to do this, but you know, just in case you didn't, um, there are some people that are just starting out, and I understand that you just kind of wonder, well, how did they do that, you know? And so I try to do a little bit of showing how to do the basic stuff. I've got this series that I'm planning on using very few tools. And then using this other tool and this other tool. Anyways, it's a thing I'm planning on doing some simple things. Basic. Um, it doesn't matter. It's not really directional. I'm talking to myself again. Sorry. But I'm trying to get this. And I'm so used to looking for what way does the paper go, you know. So you have to, if it's directional. Well, I mean, you know, you could say it's directional. But it's really not. It could go either which way. So... Uh, when I was putting these brooms together, I go, oh, you know, but after a while, I thought, well, it looks good, though. Yeah, so <laughs> it's worth the work, right, for our, our little people. Or even our big people. These journals could be made for anybody. Just some kind of fun thing at your office or... For your kids, for your grandkids, for your significant others. I don't know. Any kind of little treat thing that you want to do for um, for anyone. Even my, even my silly poem that, you know, <laughs> excuse my reach. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is what it is. Okay. So I'm going to put that so I don't have to keep reaching for it. All right. So I put in most all of the pocket pump, pumpkin pockets. Um, and I'll show you what I got a couple that I'm going to put in with you so that we, you know, you can see what I did. Um, it's not difficult. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, what I do is I just go around the outsides uh, and then put the pocket sort of opposite opposite this one right so but you don't have to put it up so high because hey you got to kind of gauge for your candy right <laughs> you got to leave a little bit of a gap up here that's what i do kind of nudge it in right on the sides like you would a flat pocket because you don't want them to be too flat you're going to stick something in there you want a little bit of space i uh, that's the way I do it. So other people might want to do it differently. So do what you do. Um, and this one will do the same thing. Only, you know, this way. Um, so. Yep. I thought I'd do a quick and easy. Just simple project for Halloween. Um, like I said, I don't do a lot of Halloween. It's not really my my thing yeah i guess you know 
Um, I know a lot of people love it. And I used to when I had kids at home. I mean, you know, you make their costumes and you watch them be silly and, and have fun and all that kind of stuff. Um, and take them to trunk or treating. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, I don't really do anything anymore. It's like they grew up. So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so we got our pumpkin pockets in. Get that little roll. Make sure my adhesion is adhesed. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, um, well, let me go ahead and put the, the house in. Right? So on this little bat house, um, we're going to put, excuse me, we're going to put glue at the bottom, of course, and we'll glue our little fences. Now, when you're fussy cutting, if that just gets on your nerve, just whack it off. You don't have to keep the fence. I mean, you know, it's just, <sighs> it is what it is. So, and of course, I inked around all these so that you don't see the, because I printed them out on uh, lightweight cardstock. And that's white. So, um, anyways, so I do a line of glue down here, glue all that down, glue all this down, and a line of glue here. So I'm leaving the whole top part of it open so that whatever um, treat I want to put in there, I can just, you know, stick it in there. You might want to put something, if it's for an adult, you might want to put notes in there or office supplies, I don't know, whatever you want to put in, it's fine. Um, if you have children or grandchildren that are diabetic, you want to get that kind of candy or put some other kind of treat that they like. Little, little toys will fit in here. Um, yeah, so that would be cool. Have a little toy. Treat doesn't always have to be candy. Now, to my grandchildren, yeah, it might mean candy. But um, they they sometimes get other things besides just candy. Because, you know, Grandma has an imagination. And I like to change it up a little. Um, so you can put lots of different things in there. That's a pretty big pocket. So, um, yeah, just put whatever floats your boat in there. Uh, whatever you think your recipient will like, okay? Oh, let's go ahead and put the back one on, too, and then I'll show you the front. The front is a little bit more in this way. You can put this either which way you want. I inked around it after I backed them to each other. So this is going to go here. Excuse me again. This is going to go here, and I'm just going to glue down the bottom pumpkin. Um, so that way... It has plenty of room on the inside, right? I think I think this is going to be a fun treat for my grandchildren. Um, and I hope you can put it to some good use with your... Whomever you want to give a treat to. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of fun to give and to, to share. I, I like it anyways. It is... One of my favorite things to do, even if Halloween isn't my favorite holiday. I still like to give and to share. And like I said, you want to nudge this just a little bit so you have it almost rounding, almost. Um, so that you have a little bit more space and it's not just flat on there. Flat's hard to get something into when it's a pocket, right? So give it a little bit of a, a nudge. So that you've got room. We don't want to mess with it too much. But see, you have a lot of room in there because you gave it that little nudge. Okay, now we're going to do our front. This is the fun part, right? <laughs> okay, for my paper bag, what I did was I printed this out on vellum and then I cut the paper um, long ways in half. Um, use, and this works for either side of the pond. Uh, letter US letter size or A4 just cut it in half and then fold your paper in you want <clears throat> a quarter ish overlap right here and then you want to fold up about half an inch 
three quarters is okay, but don't go too crazy. Just a little bit, right? Excuse my reach again. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut my corners. <laughs> Cutting corners is a thing, right? Okay, cut my corners off. And get rid of my trash because it piles up and gets in places I don't want it to be. All right. So now I know what I want to cut off because I've got that ready. I did a thing not too long ago on um, uh, book pages, and I made one of these. Um, so, I mean, they're super simple and easy. You can do them any which way you want to do them. On that one, I did a curved front so that you can get in and out of the bag really easy. This one I'm not because um, with what I'm putting in it for like candy and stuff, it, you have to just kind of gauge things if you're, oh, I didn't put my moon in. <laughs> that little house has a moon. Let me go back and do that so I don't lose my moon. <laughs> that would be awkward. <laughs> okay, sorry. Mid thought I was, you know, found a moon. Um, so anyways, when you're making the paper bags, you kind of have to gauge what you're um, what you're putting in it. If it's something flat, then you really do want that little curved front. Okay, there's my moon. It goes with the house. Okay, no losing stuff here. That could get awkward. Okay, so back to where we were. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is not going to be something flat. I'm going to be sticking candy in here. That's a little bit more bulky, right? So I'm going to leave that. Okay. I'm still going to do it the same way on the back. Overlapping. I want both my edges. Both my edges there. Um, and you'll, you'll think when you do this on vellum, you think, oh, I've ruined it. It looks terrible. But you know what? It's fine. It's it just kind of wrinkles up for a little bit, and then it uh, it dries, and it looks fine. As fine as a vellum bag looks. Okay. <laughs> it it's not a big deal. It looks a little bit, but when that dries, it dries clear. This glue does dry clear. You can use double stick tape. That's fine. Um, Whatever adhesive you want to use is fine. Just vellum just takes a minute to sort of get used to its new life, right? And you have to be a little gentle with with vellum because it's not normal paper. You have to be careful with it. So it's a little more fragile. Sort of like a a book page only I think it's a little stronger than a book page so anyways this is what we're gonna put on here and we're gonna put this I did mine kind of skew whiffed on the bag so that I would know I leave this little bitty piece here not glued and the rest of it I can fit in and so I put the bag sideways and that makes this more or less up straight right so what I did when I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to turn it over this way and get my handy dandy pencil, right? And do that number. And then I'll know where to glue to, right? Don't glue that part. See? <sighs> so we want to glue all this stuff down. And it won't be seen because you're going to, well, mine won't be seen. Because I'm going to glue the bag to the treat journal, right? So, yeah. Mine won't be seen. If you're doing yours differently, still probably won't be seen because if you're putting this on the front of the um, bag, yeah, it probably won't be seen. So, just saying. It's fine. Just, just glue it up and get it ready to go and have fun with it. Don't stress over it, right? <laughs> It's all about the crafty fun.
Yeah? Okay. Now, we're going to put it this way so that we have it, everything on except for our little part we want it off, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, sometimes when you do things or you think it through and you just go, that worked really good. And then you get on camera and you go, is that going to work out now? <laughs> you kind of start second guessing yourself a little bit. Now, I know when you see this white around here, you think, oh, the glue is all oozing out. It, with the glue that I use, whether it's the Cosmic Shimmer or the Art Glitter Glue, it dries completely clear. You won't see it. So I don't worry about the squidging out so much. Um, okay, so now we've got this ready to go on our treat journal. So we can put candy in it, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh. Now for this, I'm not going to use the glue. I'm, um, I'm going to use the double stick tape on the back. And I'm just going to use... Um, I'm just going to use a couple pieces. I'm not going to do it solid. I'm going to do the strip here and here. If that makes sense. Because uh, I don't want it to be like rigidly down, if that makes sense. Um, I want it to be a little bit, I want it to be there, but a little bit loose. I don't know if I'm making sense or not. But when you're putting something bulky in something like this, you don't want it to be just cinch down super, 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 super tight. Excuse my reach again. Because um, you could you could end up ripping your bag, right? You don't want to do that. And you don't want your recipient to rip the bag trying to get your treat out. So you want to be... Come along now. So you want to be a little flexible is what I'm really getting at. I want it to be a little bit flexible, right? So, yeah. And as you can see, this is this is drying pretty quick. You barely can tell there's glue there. So, okay. Now, I'm not going to put glue on that, so I'm just going to sort of eyeball. I want this crooked and that straight, right? <laughs> okay. Now, that's going to stay there. And it will hold some candy. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Okay, the one that I did over here, um, yes, I, now see, it'll hold a lot. So I've got Kit Kats in there. Um, I don't have my other candies here yet, because like I said, I'm waiting for them to, I've got some Dum Dums ordered, you know, those little bitty uh, lollipops, so the stick can stick in there and it doesn't cause a lot of problems. I mean, the dum-dums are going to be a little bit dimensional, but I think it'll be okay. <coughs> Excuse me. When I put them in, I'm probably going to put them in a, put the whole treat journal in its own little zippy bag and sort of cinch it up pretty tight for shipping. And then when it gets there, hopefully everything's still intact. I will have my helper on the other side make sure so if you're if you're packing yours up to send off just kind of keep that in mind if you're putting candy in and stuff which i hope you do some kind of treat um then you know cinch it up really good and you'll be fine i'm just going to use a ziploc bag yeah and uh if anything falls out they can my helper on the other side can always stick it back in <laughs> right Okay, treat treat journals for Halloween. Yep, let me show you the the bundle again. My my silly grandma poem, which can be adapted to whatever you want it to be. Um, all our little critters of what you're gonna be for Halloween. Uh, our big pocket, our seven other pockets. It's Halloween, right? Uh, our broom background pages. <laughs> Looks like Harry Potter's broom or something. Okay, and our bat house and our happy Halloween. This, remember, I just printed that out on vellum. You can print it out on tea stain paper. You can print it out on regular paper. The background's already there. Um, 
for it to look very vintagey. Okay, so it, you you don't have to do anything to that. Um, so yeah, have fun with it. <laughs> That's what we're supposed to do, right? Have fun and play. So this is my treat for all my friends. Oh yeah, I didn't put these in the pockets yet. All my little paper dolls for the thing. Uh, they're so fun. Um, yeah. Especially when the cricket cuts them out for you. So, <laughs> just saying. Um, okay. So, yep. Have fun. Go do some fun crafting. Make your, make your happy Halloween treat journals. And, uh, so, yep. Have fun. Uh, Please like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. T -t TTFN.